ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Kobe here and just arrived to the Hilton La Romana. After we arrived, we've been amazed already how beautiful this hotel is. We arrived to the adult section's reception and there was a bar, a cafe and a big lounge. After a check-in, we went straight up to the room, but as we noticed, there wasn't any elevator and the room was on the second floor. It wasn't a problem for us, but it's good to know because it could be for someone. The room was very clean, stylish and artistic and our window looked between two buildings in the adult section. The room has been cleaned every day properly and we've got a lot of towels and extra hygiene products. We've got an iron, but they couldn't provide us an ironing board, which is a bit disappointing if you would like to wear a fancy dress for your romantic dinner. In the mini bar we got some beer, juice, some soft drink, but we could use the bar anytime we were fancy for something different. In the room we got some tea and coffee, but we never used because you could have a lot better coffee at the reception at the 24-7 Arma Coffee. So if you like to get a good coffee for your breakfast, grab it from there, because what they're serving for breakfast was just tasteless and watery. This hotel has three sections, a family, adults only and a premium. If you're in the adults only or premium, you can visit every bar and restaurant, but with children's you can stay only on the family side. In the morning, only the buffets are open for breakfast and basically you could have anything you can expect and the same with lunch. But for your lunch, you can grab some hot dog, burger or pizza at the beach bar or at the family pool. One night in the family buffet, we had a Mexican night with traditional Mexican dishes and decoration and every meat was freshly made in front of us, which was quite entertaining. In this hotel, you have plenty of choice for restaurants for your dinner. There are two buffets on both sides, and on the other side, it's the first we're gonna take a look at is the Sakura, which is an Asian restaurant. It's a beautiful authentic atmosphere with great food, and you can book for a private food show as well if you want. In the Sakura, I got a mixed plate for starter, and as you can see, I tried to improve my chopstick skill, I had a tofu soup, Asian noodles with some chicken, and Vicky had some kind of prawn pasta. And for dessert, we had an Asian cake with ice cream and a cheesecake. We went into a different restaurant every night, so the next what we're gonna take a look at is the Noor Mediterranean restaurant. While the Asian was indoor, this is an outdoor restaurant with a great wipe. I had a stuffed cabbage, Vicky had some hummus with some pita bread, and as you can see, the soup and the two main course looks very good as well. The family section is the Mary restaurant, which is an outdoor restaurant as well. Every restaurant has a dress code apart from the buffet, which means no short, no flip-flop for men's, so you need a long trouser and the proper shoes. Sometimes you have to wait to be seated, but you can enjoy some drinks while waiting. We were lucky because we got a table on the terrace and it was amazing. Sorry for the flash, but it was very dark, so here we got some Greek salad and some calamari, then meat soup and the grilled chicken and some cake. The next to the family section is the Italian, which is indoor like the French. I got some pastrami, some traditional pasta and a very artistic designer dessert and a tiramisu. The French restaurant looks similar to the Italian, nothing fancy or authentic, but still very nice. And first time in my life, I got this LED menu, which was very surprising. We had the tropical shrimp cocktail as a starter, French onion soup, salmon, and a creme brulee. Another restaurant on the adult side is the seafood restaurant, where we had some prawn tacos, a whole fish, and I can't remember what this was, it looks good, with some desserts. The last restaurant was on the beach with a special vibe, but unfortunately I lost my footage about the food, so be happy with this. The staff is very strict about their separation policy. They don't let any children into the adult zone to keep it quiet and relaxing. This is the adult pool, where you can rent a body bed if you're fancy. This is the family lounge, the family pool, and there's the bar. Here's a jacuzzi. And at this section you can find a lot of entertaining possibilities for kids. They have a different show every night for a few hours before you go to bed. It was very loud, but I asked someone from the family side and they said you can't hear it if you keep the window shut, so don't worry about it. I feel this tropical vibe. It's so good. Vamos, coño! Just a quick pro style tip. If you have a lot of pattern on a shirt or a, your t-shirt, it's better if you have less on a trousers or your short. And it's like the same with the opposite. So just forget what you saw on the first time when I had this shirt and with my swim short with a lot of leaves as well, it was just, it was just fun. If you'd like to pick some souvenirs, just leave the shop in the hotel because it's very expensive. 
but if you go down to the beach, just two minutes walk to the left hand side and you can find a lot of shops there with better prices, but in the Hotel Souvenir shop you can ask them to pump up your swim belt at least. On the first night when we arrived I felt very embarrassed because we went out for a walk and in the hotel we found some jewelry sellers who tried to force us to buy some jewelry for $18.90 but after 10 minutes of negotiation the price was $10.15 so I wouldn't expect this in Hilton. And another minus was in my point of view that the service was very slow everywhere because they don't have enough stuff and the stuff has to work 200 person as you can see in the beach bar on the family side. There was only one barman who had to make tons of cocktails, which takes a long time, so make sure you leave them some tips because they're doing their best. And just to mention, they're doing weddings as well. During our stay the water park was under construction, but as I know, it's gonna be available once the hotel will be reopened. But now, they close at least until the 31st of May. Oh. There's millions of mosquitoes here. Yeah. I just wanna get a shield against the mosquitoes. So I recommend to get this stuff. Eat this mosquitoes. It's my blood. I asked for a small whiskey. Okay. This glass looks like a glass, but it's plastic. Smart. Mm. And just a few more quick tips, don't forget to make an insurance because we thought we are going to save some money and we haven't got any. So when Wiki's ear was blocked by water we had to find an emergency because the doctor in the hotel was very expensive so insurance. And just to save some room in your luggage I don't recommend to take any of your face masks or diving goggles because we couldn't use it properly because the water was very cloudy so just, just leave it at home. And we saw a lot of people stressing about the sunbeds. They woke up very early, they run to reserve the best places. Congratulations! Just leave it, just let it go, just relax and enjoy. That's my best advice. And I hope you're gonna like this hotel once it reopens again after this coronavirus pandemic. But till then, don't forget what the government says. Stay at home, protect NHS, subscribe to Optimal Review, save lives, and stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah, there's my scale. La vida está fácil.